Hey guys, from the Soy Sauce Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, there's something that you guys, you guys probably already expected. Eric, Midnight Cigar, has sent me one of these to review. $100 cigar, should be no surprise to you guys that we would be dumb enough to go buy on $100 cigar to review for you guys. But this is what it is, Pacencia, Alma de Fuego. Oma Tepe Limited Edition. There you go. Yep. So this thing basically just opens up. It's a magnet. It does not hold a good seal. Like literally, it does not. Like this doesn't take much to open. If you receive one of these, you gotta find out this thing's actually loose. You can remove it. So basically they have individually blown glass removable piece that that was ordered separately and basically yes it's, it, I, I don't know if you can see like it does not it is not see it, it, you can tell this is smaller it doesn't hold any humidity all right doesn't hold any humidity this is just for decorations decoration hundred dollars ago hundred dollars ago think about it think about it all right so Take a quick look on the cigar and then we'll get smoking. Okay, Placencia Alma del Fuego Alma Tepet Edition Limitada. It is 6x54 torpedo in the glass tube. Wrapper, obviously, the star of this thing is Alma Tepe from Nicaragua. MSRP $100. The binder filler is also from Nicaragua. It's more Puro, but they don't want to tell you which part it is. But the most important thing is that each box is 20 cigars, so it's a $2,000 box. And it is the only cigar with the Omatepe wrapper on the island, according to them. So I can't wait. I hope it does not taste like Alma del Fuego. Okay, so as you can see, this is um, relatively dark, sandpaper like, and Toothy in a way, it feels like a really fine grain sandpaper, okay? And in comparison to a regular Alma de Fuego, you can see the color is slightly different. This is greasy. This is more matte, okay? This is a Jalapa Nicaraguan. This is Alma Tepe. Not that anybody can really tell. Just want to give you guys a comparison so we can get started. Take off the foot band. Oh, okay. It's a very sweet, mineral-like, plum-like smell. The foot is just a little bit stinky. And that's the foot band. You really get to the point. You get like, a little bit of texture on the band. That looks like a leaf and the mountain leaf and the mountain leaf and mountains okay very cool very cool very good design i like that all right so let's get started dry is good well what is this right away it's like a Musty, stinky, salty cocoa. 
musty, stinky, salty cocoa. Very distinct. Very, very like. You can taste it right away. Saltiness too. All right. You know what? Let's go. Toast, toast, toast. Wow. Okay. A lot of mineral. Pepper burns a little bit. Mineral. Metallic a little bit. Saltiness. Pepper. It's like mixture of black and red pepper kind of burn. A little bit barnyard. Earthiness. It's a lot of mineral. All right. Uh, let me smoke one third. And we'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> first third. To explain the cigar, you kind of have to smoke the regular Alma del Fuego. But, but let's do it the uh, two ways. If you smoke Alma del Fuego, think of it as that's iPhone. Okay. And then think of this as iPhone Pro. So it's got a lot of the same quality, except, except the quality has been enhanced. It's got a little bit of coffee, a little bit of cocoa, not a lot, but a lot of that, that earthy mineralness, a lot of nuttiness, and the pepper burns the shit out of my nose. It lingers, it numbs, and then it Kind of kick off with some sweetness and saltiness mix, finishing with that creaminess and and sort of earthy sweetness. There is a little bit, if you want to call that a floral in there that kind of give that aroma i can tell you though with that little bit of saltiness the body is full you can taste it right away definitely can taste it that that's a lot more like if this was medium body that's full body strength about the same medium maybe and dry is okay but it does have a lot of flavor this cigar you want to take small puffs you want to take small puffs small puffs And just let it out really slowly, especially the retro hill. You got to get a lot of flavor. So you don't need to pre-draw this. Just take small draws more often. You are fine. Burns out okay. But you can see like this is not white ash. You can see there's a lot of mineral, a lot of junks in this thing. So it burns a different color, you know. Um, but there is. It's a good cigar. A hundred dollar, holy crap! Hundred dollar. It's good, but not hundred dollar. Oh my god, my nose! Oh, the burn. <laughs> All right, so that's the first there. It's doing really well. Uh, people who love pepper, you gotta love this thing. Uh, and people who doesn't, do it slowly. Don't retro hill too big of a puff. 
We'll do a second third. We'll be right back. Ooh, my nose. My nose. All right. Second third. Balance. Smooth. Pepper die down. Even more of a flavor on the retro hill. It's crazy. It's got a little bit more floralness to that cocoa. More essence. More smooth. More creamy. More, more earthy. But overall, more better. <laughs> more good. Um, I don't know if uh, people that usually don't smoke a lot of cigars got to be able to tell the difference. But if you only smoked the uh, Amo de Fuego recently, you're going to be able to tell the difference. This is way more. This is way more flavor. If you... Talk about individual balance between the strength and the body. This is a little bit more impressive. This is good taste. It's less of the regular De Fuego has a little bit of that sharp earthiness. This earthiness is pleasant. This earthiness really brings out all the other flavor, especially the cocoa and the floral kind of sweetness and almost make that sweetness almost caramel, but it's not caramel. It's just sweet. Um, but that creaminess brings it out, brings everything out. And the earthiness just sets the tone. Almost like, you know, how sandalwood makes a perfume last longer, more pungent and strength. And, and, and more deep, more complex. This thing made it more deep and complex with that earthiness, with that creaminess. It made it almost like there's depth to it, right? There, like, you can taste all everything together, but you can separate by medium, low, high, and then most up front and something behind that kind of feel. Uh, there's more depth to it. There's more distant. There's more layer. That's how I can call it. All right. So that's the second third. Let's take it off the band. Let's, let's show the one that's most normal first. The Placencia short band. This is in a lot of Placencia, different color. Normal stuff. And then we have this Omatepe special band. Like that. I don't know why they just make it into like two of these. The old one doesn't have any of those. So they, this one added two quests or seal, whatever you want to call that. Mm, the, the, the thing is so light, I can't really tell what it is, but there is two, uh, two quests. One says 2024, addition limitada. Okay, here we go. And the other one says, I can't tell. Yeah, so this one says 2024. Additional Matara. This one I can't tell. It's just like a turn of Nicaragua, maybe. And I can't tell what's in there. The the fonts are not. It's pretty light. Uh, and the rest is pretty self-exploratory. Nice band. Really fits the theme. What I didn't like is this thing. Number one, it doesn't hold any humidity. Magnet is pretty cool, but number two is this thing wiggles. This thing can take it off. So when I got it, it's not straight. And I even I put it down there, I put it up together, it's not really straight. There's like no way to get it really, really straight. And I don't know what you gotta use this for. What does this look like? And what you gotta use it for? What what can you use this for? Wink wink. Wink wink. Okay. We're all adults. You know what you can use it for? What I mean was display, you know, it was nice display, you know, put on the cigar in there. So whatever you want to do. But the glass does have a it's actual glass, not plastic. And the bottom does have a place to see a sign. It's kind of cool, but like it's not stable. It's just got to fall over the place. So if you're thinking what I'm thinking, 
be careful because it's not really glued together or anything. It will fall off. It might get stuck. What I mean by that is that if you put it on a table or something, it might fall over. All right. So last turn. Be right back. All right. We're the last turn. We finally finished. This cigar burns very slow. It's a long smoke. And you don't need to take a, that big of, uh, of uh, uh, a puff to be able to get all the flavor. So it burns quite a bit. Um, I would say the strain ramped out a little bit after the second third. So I said medium, medium plus. More towards the medium plus. So uh, as you smoke it, you're going to feel it. But the flavor is still there. Last third, the flavor, they calmed down. But because it's full body, it went to like a medium to medium mild body. It's still pretty good. You can smoke this all the way through. No problem. Tastes great. Last third basically is the second third, but downgraded. You know, it's still good. It's still good. Didn't have to fix it. Didn't have to have any problem with it, really. Um, overall, good smoke. Way better than the original Alma del Fuego. However, it's not a hundred dollar cigar. It's um, it's thirty bucks. It's roughly thirty bucks. If this is thirty bucks, I probably buy a box. If it's thirty five, probably buy a five pack. A hundred? No, not a chance. Not a chance. So it's very far from where the price range is, but I can understand why. <sighs> because obviously, you gotta find the amount of of my tepe wrapper that can. That looks decent enough to use but at the same time i feel like couldn't they use the one that's not good enough to something else they don't have to raise the price for this one i, I think they really wanted to have that to be something special somebody's trying one time or was for collection or something like that but not really for everyday smoke even though it's good i don't think they can keep up with the production if they, they if this blew up uh so they purposely made it that way as a Hey, the wrapper does taste better if you put it as a wrapper. That kind of thing. Okay? So, yeah. Good cigar. Heavily recommended, but not at $100. So, maybe wait to see if it drop down price for some, some time. I don't think it will. Because if you smoke it one time, you probably think, okay, I want more. I just don't know how I can get more kind of thing. Right? Uh, it's almost like that unicorn is 100 bucks. Some people like it. Some people don't. But this thing's like... All right, uh, if it's hundred dollar, I'd rather just buy a cheaper one to smoke. Thirty, thirty-five, more close to thirty for me. All right, so that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Your comment, like, and sharing help us to feel that our our review goes somewhere, so that we can go find more of these expensive cigars to continue to do this for you because we don't get paid. We just, you know. Go ahead and buy it. Show it to you and that. So, your like and share and comment is appreciated. All right. Make sure to check out our swag. Make sure to check out our, our, our membership section. The membership gives you early access to some of the reviews. And uh, whatever that money is, it goes back to giveaways. It's been said. It's, it's still going to be the way it is. And yeah, it takes like about six months to buy one of these cars. <laughs> okay um yeah that will be it i will see you guys next one bye guys